tangent law. A freely suspended magnetic needle comes to rest in the north-south direction of Earth's magnetic induction field, BE. If a uniform magnetic field, B is applied in a direction at right angles to that of B, the needle deflects and sets itself with its axis in the direction of the resultant of B and B. Two sets of couple are acting on it. The deflecting couple is due to the external field B. The force MB acting on each pole constitute this couple and tries to rotate the magnet in clockwise direction. Therefore, deflection couple equals to MB into NA. The restoring couple is constituted by the force MB acting N each pole. This try to rotate the magnet in anti-clockwise direction. Therefore, restoring couple equals to MBE into SA. As the magnet is in equilibrium, the deflecting couple is equal to restoring couple. Therefore, MB into NA equals to MBE into SA. Therefore, B equals to B SA by NA equals to B tan theta. Therefore, SA by NA equals to tan theta. This is known as tangent law or the principle of the deflection magnetometer. Deflection of magnetometer. Description. The deflection magnetometer consists of a compass box and a graduated wooden board. The compass box consists of a small magnetic needle, NS, pivoted at its center so as to rotate freely in a horizontal plane. The center of the needle coincides with the center of a circular scale divided into four quadrants graduated as 0 degree to 90 degree, 90 degree to 0 degree, 0 degree to 90 degree, 90 degree to 0 degree. A long aluminium pointer P is attached perpendicular to the needle as well as stability to the needle. A plane mirror is provided below the pointer to avoid the parallax error in taking readings. The system is enclosed in a brass case provided with glass top. This compass box is placed at the center of a graduated wooden board. Uses The magnetic induction field strength is measured by this instrument. It is also used 1. To compare the magnetic moment of two bar magnets 2. To compare the intensities of two magnetic fields and 3. To verify the inverse square law. Tan A or Gauss A position. The magnetic needle comes to rest in the magnetic meridian. The arms of the aluminium pointer. Then the arms will be in the east-west direction. The compass box alone is rotated so as to make the pointer read 0 degree to 0 degree on the circular scale. Then the deflection magnetometer is said to be arranged in tan A or Gauss A position. It is also called end on position because the axial line of the magnet passes through the center of the needle. Tan B or Gauss B position. The magnetic needle comes to rest in the magnetic meridian. The arms of the magnetometer are adjusted to be parallel to the magnetic needle. Then the arms will be in the north-south direction. The compass box alone is rotated so as to make the aluminium point to read zero degree, zero degree on the circular scale. Then the deflection magnetometer is said to be arranged in tan B or position since the equatorial line of the magnet 
passes through the center of the needle. 